Warning, it is important that prior to performing this or any other safety or service procedure on any Heil product, that the person performing the work has both read and clearly understands the product operator's manual, including detailed safety instructions that accompanied this Heil product. If there is anything that is unclear or that you don't understand, do not attempt to operate the vehicle or perform any service or maintenance task called out in any service video. Clear the area, place access barriers around the truck, and then walk away from the vehicle and contact your supervisor immediately for clarification. It is also important to ensure you are wearing the appropriate personal protective equipment, hereafter referred to as PPE, prior to beginning this or any other service or maintenance procedure. Prior to performing this task, you're going to need a lockout tagout kit, including a keyed lock. Again, do not attempt to perform this task without a functioning lockout tagout kit. Hey, I'm Travis Wallen, the service guru here at Heil Environmental in beautiful Fort Payne, Alabama. Thanks for joining me at the Service Shack. Today we're going to talk about your hydraulic system and how to change the hydraulic filter and how to reset the filter bypass warning on both legacy PLC controllers as well as the new Cortex controller. But before we do that, let's talk about the tools you're going to need to change your filter. You're going to need a half inch wrench, a half inch socket, and a torque wrench set to 13 foot pounds. In addition, you'll need an in-tank filter element, part number 075-0953-001. Remember that your Heil product represents a significant investment. It was designed as a highly productive refuse collection vehicle, and in order to maintain performance, we strongly recommend you use only Heil OEM parts. Your vehicle's hydraulic system represents the backbone of your vehicle, and the OEM filters are highly engineered to filter out incredibly small contaminants down to 3 micron, while at the same time maintaining good flow characteristics. Substituting off-brand parts can significantly degrade your vehicle's performance and may affect your warranty. Now let's get started. This procedure is based on operator engagement and their identification of the filter bypass warning notification. This alarm will sound off in the cab and will be accompanied by a warning light as well. The driver represents the first line of defense here and it's critical that the operator notifies the maintenance supervisor when they hear or see the alarm. All filters have an engineered life cycle and when the alarm sounds in the cab of your Heil vehicle, it's telling you it's time to replace the filter to protect the oil, which is the lifeblood of your hydraulic system. When the alarm sounds, it initiates a timer that allows your hydraulic system to operate normally for six hours, which should give you time to either finish your route or allow you time to get back to the garage. Once back at the garage, the service technician will replace the filter using the following steps. First, it's a good idea to lower the oil level by extending the ejector panel. Then the service technician must lock out the truck per your company policy or Heil's lockout tagout video, which is located on the Heil website. After the truck has been locked and tagged, locate your hydraulic filter housing, which can be found on top of your vehicle's hydraulic reservoir. Remove the four nuts using a half inch wrench, set the nuts aside for reuse, and then remove the filter cover. Then remove the filter element with the bypass assembly and discard as required, being mindful of your company's used oil disposal practices. Clean the housing with a clean, lint-free cloth and install the new filter element making sure it is seated evenly. Lubricate the new O-ring with a small amount of hydraulic oil and reinstall the filter cover. Then tighten the four nuts to 13 foot-pounds using your torque wrench. Once the filter has been changed, the filter bypass warning should reset itself. If the filter bypass warning does not reset, then you will need to manually reset the warning by starting the engine, turning on the hydraulic pump, and maintain this condition for 15 minutes. This should reset the alarm and return the vehicle to the normal operating mode. On behalf of everyone at Heil, I hope this video helps you understand how to change the in-tank hydraulic filter 
and reset the filter bypass warning alarm. Remember, we're here to help in any way we can. Be safe out there, and we'll see you next time here at the Service Shack.